Hello and welcome to the next video in the Mean Stack JS How To series. In this video, we're going to talk about testing and in the fact of, in the sense of general testing. So, in later videos, we will begin into Karma, Mocha, and N, and Standard JS, and how we test all those individually and check. But in this video, we're going to check all of them at once. So let's go right on over to the wiki page, and specifically the testing wiki page which can be found if you go to the GitHub and you click on Wiki. So you'll see down here we have uh, NPM tests, which will test everything. We have our end-to-end -end testing, we have our front-end, back-end, and the standard JS, which just makes us sure that uh, we follow our style. So what we're gonna look at today is NPM test. And one note we wanna make that we're gonna show today too is you wanna have a Selenium server up and running. Uh, I have attached the URL of a Selenium standalone package that is extremely useful to use. I use it myself, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it today. So, let's get started with it. So, if we come on over to Selenium standalone, you'll see the package is pretty straightforward to install. We will copy this, come over here and paste it. I think I need to zoom out for a second. There we go. And paste it and run it. And you'll follow these in line. So you'll run the uh, install globally. And then you'll run Selenium standalone install. And once you have that, you can you can just uh, you can just let me make clear. You can just run an npm standalone start. Now, I'm not going to install globally or reinstall for the sake of this video because there's no sense in you guys just watching me install it. Uh, but as you can see also in their video, they have shown how it works to install. But let's just start it up. So you hit Selenium Standalone Start, and it'll say Selenium Server is now up and running on port 44444. So that's good. That's the first step we need. We will need the Selenium Server for our end to end test cases. So when we're, running, when we're running the overall test cases like we are in this video, we need it. But if you're just testing uh, Karma on the front end, you don't need it. Or if you're just testing with Mocha or even just the standard JS. But you'll need it for this one. So let's go back over here. We're in the right repository. So let's just hit an NPM test. And this will go and start testing the whole system. And I can't really control how the browser pops up. So as you'll see here during the video, it will just kind of pop up randomly. And this is first kicking off all of our karma tests. And it passes all 67 of them. Great. And now it's going to get right into end-to-end -end test cases because it already actually passed right over, or it will pass over Mocha. We don't have many Mocha test cases because we put a lot more time into end-to-end -end test cases currently. And so in behind the scenes, you're seeing it's running. I can't really control the browser while recording. It just, it doesn't want to listen. Uh, but all the, into, all the automation is just kicking off and going, and that's going really well. And I am going to cut to the end of this, and we'll be right back as soon as this is done. All right, here we are now. Welcome back. Uh, the tests have finished and you'll see at the very bottom standard ran and didn't give us any errors so we know that's good at the very end of our 110 tests um the report is generated from nightwatch and you can come in here and view all the test cases you can view out everything that passed and all the assertions and look into all of them uh, but at the end of each test it will spit up a report for nightwatch and it looks as though everything passed uh with flying colors so the Karma Pass, the Mocha, even though we don't have a ton of Mocha yet. Um, also the Nightwatch and the Standard JS. Now, that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to show you how to turn it on, make sure you had Selenium up, hit NPM, and NPM test. Now, we are assuming here, though, that you have already installed and have Mongo turned on and you, you're able to already turn the system on. Uh, but if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out or post some comments down below and we'll try to see what we can do to help you out.